Hi, I'm Jim Hopper. I live in Dallas, Texas. I'm going to sell my Ampex A423 stereo console, uh, which is probably my most prized possession. Uh, actually, a friend of mine owned it. It was bought here in Dallas by his grandfather and then given to his mother and it stayed in his uh, den for 30 years until his mother sold her house and he gave it to me because he didn't know what to do with it. I spent about six months cleaning it up and putting it back together and putting new capacitors in it and anything else I could think of to make it better. Uh, and. Uh, have been using it for the past six or eight years, but it's time to go. Time to let somebody else have some fun. First of all, it's opens here. It's a tuner, and we'll get the tuner to work here. There. This is FM. Pianist Alicia De La Rocha and the a, London uh, Philharmonic Orchestra. FM they were led AF, by Rafael Fervectivorgos. In that fantasy for piano and orchestra in B major. Uh, by this Dottie is the only McCormick. classical station on classical in Dallas. So I'm going to show this to you. Also, it also does AM. Most qualified job candidates with immediate results. If you're As a decision a, maker, I want uh, you to go to ZipRecruiter.com. You can post for the job you're looking for for free. That's right, for free. And it has a, a meter for MV. FM deviation right. back and forth. ZipRecruiter.com. So it's MV. got all the stuff. One more time to try it for free. Um, go to ZipRecruiter.com. Very, very good. This is not uh, Ampex. This is uh, right what is this? This is a Fisher Fisher tuner. Fisher tuner, um, uh, really good one for the time, and you see it works fine. Okay, second we will try the uh, photograph. I've got a couple records stacked up here. This is a Gerard Model A turntable. You see it's got the 45 adapters, it's got the short spindle, and we will eject the first record. I've got two records on it to show you it does work. I'm doing this to show you the turntable works properly. And we'll drag it over to the edge to show you it picks up. Okay, there's a turntable. Now we'll, tape recorder is a, a Wampix. Um, I've redone it completely. Um, it's stereo. Um, it, it'll, it'll do a two track or four track. Got a little, little mechanical knob here for two track or four track. So we're gonna play here. So tune in to This is a tape I made. This is running at three and three quarters right now. Got a mechanical knob here. Pull it up, it'll go seven and a half. Stop. Fast 
forward. Up. The audio comes through because that's how it was. That's how they used to do it. And it shuts off when it gets to the end of the tape. Uh, also, we'll record. I have recorded on it, but I certainly don't do that much. The uh, Again, the unit was all the electrolytics had been replaced. The selenium rectifier has been taken out for diodes. Uh, I'm actually in the two-way radio business, so I'm pretty proficient at this kind of technology, and I love it to death. So uh, here you go, uh, a pretty nice item. I don't think there's more than probably a half a dozen of them in existence anymore. Uh, a good thing to have.